Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today um, it's going to be a quick one. It was a requested tutorial who has asked if we can add to the pick up and throw tutorials and see if we can rotate objects after we pick them up um, using the R key. So what I've got here is a quick change to the script that we had already. The only difference is a couple of lines inside the pick to script. Let's jump straight in. What we've got changed is We've got the my camera variable, which I've added, which is just a transform. And then inside the start function, we've got that set as the game object find with tag main camera because we had to have one with the with the tag of main camera. And then if we come down to after the once you've picked up an object bit, and what I've got is input get button down R um, and cam pick. Um, that inside there we've got your camera's mouse look and the um, player's mouse look are then turn to false and then during what whilst it's pressed so instead of it just being while it's down the whole time that you hold R it has a variable of your rotation X and rotation Y of the mouse I've timed it by 10 just because it was quite slow um, you can set that to whatever you want obviously if you wanted you could do it in a variable to make it easier after that we've got our, our pick objects transform is rotated around locally from the point of our camera so our cameras up by its rotation X which is set here and then the same here and just make sure that you've got the negative there. Anyway, back into this, we've got if get button up is R and it's that basically the reverse of this. So it turns them back to true. So then you can let them go again. And what this does basically is we've got the scene set up just as we had before. And if we click on our object to pick it up, we can pick it up and look around obviously and move around and whatever. Um, but if we hold R, we can then rotate the object in front of us. Now, depending on what your object is, it's gonna be more useful than others. Um, anyway, and then you can have it so you point it to a direction, you release it, and then you click to throw it. And obviously you can right click to drop it like we had set up in the in the tutorials. So hopefully that's answered the question. I'm pretty sure it did. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next tutorial.